Hey gang, and welcome to week 12 at a glance. This week is pretty hands-off, and you're mostly doing the early stages of writing on your paper, but you're also getting to read Winnie the Pooh. Ah, hooray, I'm so excited. It's so good, it's so good. All right, let's see what you've got going for this week. The paper assignments this week are pretty simple, but I'll get into the details in a sec. By Wednesday, April 1st at 11.59 p.m., you need to have completed the following assignments. You need to review the 3F Exploring Sources and Recording Information link, and review the 4A Using Sources and Integrating Information link. By Friday, April 3rd at 11.59 p.m., you should have completed the following assignments. Read the chapters for Winnie the Pooh and complete the assignment. Ooh, so pumped! So, like I said, not terribly hard this week as far as work is concerned. The only graded assignment due is that Winnie the Pooh assignment. So, let's get into a bit more depth about these guys. So, like I said, your two assignments for Wednesday are pretty simple, and they're there just to help you gear up for utilizing research. 3F is just some general note-taking tips for research, and I very much encourage you to implement it. They're super helpful. As for 4A, that link has a variety of tips about quoting, summarizing, and paraphrasing material for your paper. You'll likely run into this next week as we really dive into the research aspect of things, so pay attention to it. Friday, though, Friday is where the magic really happens. You'll be doing the same thing you did for the Fairy Tales assignment, but this time for A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh. I've provided you with five chapters from the original Pooh book, and you're only required to read two of them, but I really encourage you to read them all if you have the time, especially chapter seven. It does some really cool things with race that you don't expect out of Winnie the Pooh. It's just awesome. So regardless of which two chapters you choose, there is a question for each, and you should keep in mind as you read for that chapter. Once you've chosen your two chapters and checked out their discussion questions, hop over to the assignment link. You will answer those four points for each of your chapters. Now, these points and questions are identical to the fairy tale assignment, but obviously the daily key quotes have changed. Other than that, it's the same old song and dance, so I won't bore you by going through the details again, but I really hope you enjoy Winnie the Pooh. It's super good. And that's all you've got this week. I will be taking the opportunity to grade the remaining literary analysis essays and hopefully have done that by the end of the week. Yeah, we'll see. After, of course, I finish responding to the rest of the proposals. Speaking of which, if you haven't completed your research essay proposal, that needs to be done right away so you can get that green light for the assignment. I'll pop in again on Friday for the Winnie the Pooh lecture, so until then, take care and good luck.